Two and a half years in the making, right? Two and a half years in the making, we'll call it. Morak Kassiev makes a successful heavyweight debut against Nuri Safiri. In terms of opponents to make your heavyweight debut at, or like, of, you really couldn't have got much worse. I mean, Yuri Safiri is essentially a cruiserweight. He looked way out of shape in this fight. You know, he looked fat as anything. Um, he was 225 pounds. Kassiev was 230 pounds. Safiri looked like if he was lean, he'd be a cruiserweight. Gassiev, I was surprised he came in at 230. Because we've seen Alexander Usek make the jump to heavyweight, and he's still in the two teens. Although Gassiev looks, he doesn't look as lean as he did a cruiserweight, but he's not fleshy or anything like that. He just looks like he's put on a good bit of muscle, right? So he's really put the muscle on. There's not as much definition in his body in terms of like, there is a little bit of, I don't want to, he's not fleshy. He's not fleshy at all, really, but he definitely isn't as lean as we saw him when he was down a cruiserweight. It's to be expected, of course, you know? Um, at the end of the day, with Usek, it's a different thing altogether because Usek is someone who uses volume. He moves around the ring a lot. He's light on his feet. Gassiev is more a pressure fighter, although he is quite good in the back foot. So he doesn't really need to worry about you know how light he can come in at. But it's always, I always find it annoying when I see cruiserweights move up to heavyweight and they're like, you know, oh, I could weigh 210, 250, but I'm going to try and weigh 230, 240. It's like you've literally just snookered yourself because you'd really, your advantage is you're faster. So if you go and you pack on all this extra muscle, it's just going to hinder you. Anyway, not talk about this fight. Not much to talk about, really. Um, it was in it was a, it was slow. You know, Gassiev just kind of you know done what he needed to do. Threw a couple of shots here and there. Eventually, it was a one-two. It was a jab followed by a right hand that put Safiri down. And um, surprised he got back up. To be fair, because it was quite a, he went down hard. Uh, he got back up. The referee waved it off. Now in Russia, they do tend to let fights go on a bit longer. You know, even if a fighter is not noticeably hurt. But Safiri's legs, they didn't look steady at all. You know, when the referee asked him to walk forward, he had to kind of stop and just reassess everything. So the referee waved it off then and there. That's literally how the fight went. There's not really much to gauge from this. And as I said, it's a very, very poor opponent. I mean, originally it was Kevin Johnson. That would have been a bit more... Although Johnson is, you know, he just comes to, you know, survive. At least it would have got... Um, at least it would have got to see some rounds. And it would have been able to, you know, get a bit of a gauge to where he's at. It's a natural heavyweight. Safiri, Sefa Safiri was then the next opponent. I forget what he pulled out. I don't think it was, um, you know what. I forget now. Maybe it was. Um, but in the end, they got his brother in there instead. And that was the word. Literally, the opponents just went like down, 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 down. And where's that? Where Kevin Johnson's the opponent. It's not a great start. Gassiev, a heavyweight. It's going to be interesting to see. I hope he's out soon enough because he really should be because this was a nothing fight. He didn't really do anything. He didn't take any shots. It was just in, out, in, what, a minute and a half. So you're not going to learn much from that. You're not going to gauge much from it. We need to see him in there against the real heavyweight. You know, And I'm not saying he's being there against you know a, 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 an amazing heavyweight or someone like that, but um, you know, maybe a Sakalowski or someone like that. You know, Someone who he should beat. And people are saying, well, Gassiev's world level, Sakala, well, he's world level cruiserweight, but he's still unproven. He's unproven a heavyweight, you know. At least with Usek, we've seen him in the World Boxing Super Series against heavyweights like Joe Joyce, so we could get a gauge to what he'd be like a heavyweight. With Gassiev, we don't really know. He's very raw, which he is, you know. He's 27, he's the same age as me. Um, he looks a lot older than 27, but he is. Um, Gassiev didn't have an extensive amateur career, very raw. You do see that. You do see that, especially when he fought Lebedev. You saw he just couldn't figure Lebedev out. He just used his strength to win that fight. He's improved a bit since then, but you can see that there is still a bit of you know rawness there with Marakasiev. So in terms of him and heavyweight, they're going to want to take their time with him. They're not going to want to do what people like Usyk is doing, where they're just taking you know a fight with someone, then they're jumping into Chisora and possibly jumping into an AJ fight or potentially you know a world title fight next. Usyk can do that. We can see if we need to really have a look at him heavyweight. They need to move him slowly just to see where he's at. In terms of some people have said you know we should have stayed a cruiserweight. I can't see him making cruiserweight now. Um, he looks like he's put on way too much muscle. He, I think his days of cruiserweight are well and truly gone, which is a shame because I think actually if you take Usyk out of there, him and Breedis would be a good fight. You know, he's a useful uh, cruiserweight. He can definitely punch. That's one thing Gassiev can do. He can definitely punch. Um, and it's interesting that he didn't have that many knockouts early on in his career, but when he trains with Abel, so we started training with Abel Sanchez, the knockouts started to come. Abel Sanchez to me is a trainer who definitely even I noticed that even with Joe Joyce. Abel Sanchez seems to be able to get the power, to be able to get his fighters to hit a lot harder. You know, I don't know why, 
but it seems like once they go to Abel Sanchez, if there's there could be power there, but they need someone like him to bring it out. So those are my thoughts on that. Uh, let me know yours down below. What do you think? Uh, more like a CF now, a heavyweight. You know, I, I actually only plan on doing one fight tonight, which was the Chisora Usek. I completely forgot about this uh, until I think I seen uh, Benson put it up on Twitter. And fair fair credit, we got the fight on YouTube fairly quick after, so I was able to watch it, um, which is a good thing. You know, normally we have to wait ages. Like, I remember when Lebedev fought Machunu. I mean, that was like a day before anyone could see that fight. So this was nice and quick, um, which is good. Anyway, going to leave it here, people. I'm rambling on a bit. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, of course, if you are new. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, leave a comment as you do. Let me know your thoughts. Hashtag G-Man's Rocks, King of Rip Jeans. People, I'll talk to you. Peace. I'll see. I'll talk to you after Chazor Usek. Peace.